was just so confident in saying Vlogmas Day 35, you guys. No. No. Vlogmas Day 23. Since I'm recording on Christmas Eve Eve, and this is going up on Christmas Eve, I'm wearing my Christmas Pilates socks for Pilates this morning. Oh, hello, hello, good morning. It's Christmas Eve, Eve. It's so crazy, December went by in a blink of an eye. <laughs> like what? I don't know where December went. I remember it being Vlogmas day one and I was like, oh my God, it's day one and then you blink and it's almost over. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just got home to this cute package from Maggie and I's friend, Olivia. She sent it from her store. So her store is called Sage Salem. And I'll link the Instagram down below. But it is the cutest store ever. If you live in Massachusetts, take the trip to Salem to go to it. Maggie and I went a while ago. She sells Joel Brown and all different cute companies there. This candle she sent over for a Christmas gift for Maggie and I, and Maggie got the same one, but it is by the brand Novel Studios, and it's the, it's the Palmarosa, Palmarosa scent. So it's a concrete candle, cedarwood and Palmarosa, and it's concrete based, hand poured, and hand crafted in Brooklyn, New York City. Oh my God, how cute. So this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful candle. Concrete on the bottom, candle on the top. I'm so excited to burn this candle. It smells amazing. It's so, so, so cute. Thank you, Olivia, if you're seeing this. I'm gonna go put this on my kitchen table. I put the candle right here in the middle of my table on this little wood thing. <laughs> so cute. Today has been a crazy day. I've been waiting to join a Zoom meeting right now. But it says the host is in another meeting. I wonder if that is my meeting. Oh. Hi. Oh. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Okay, perfect. I just had a really good call with, I'm literally trying to open up my door and I have, Emma, I have a seltzer in my hand. But anyway, I just had a really good call with my dietitian about everything that is just going on and she's been helping me a lot with my skin, with my digestive issues. Obviously you guys know I have the worst stomach issues ever. So I take a bunch of supplements. These aren't even all of them. Like those are just what's out right now because I actually ran out of a few of them, but I put in a huge new order. But anyway, so for my supplements and stuff like that, I just take those, you guys have seen my little grandma case, and it's just been helping so, 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 so much. We talk about like food and different recipes and different things I can eat that will help with like everything that's in balance. And it's actually really cool. So we did a bunch of tests and we saw like what was actually going on inside of me so like we saw that my estrogen levels were all messed up and like all different things for like my hormones and what levels for things like that like we did all types of tests and just seeing it was so cool not like cool but like something to the issues you know but anyway i just got back i want to show you guys some of the things that i got I've got tampons i need to put those up here and then got my brother a Christmas gift with Maggie. We had to pick up the rest of it. And then I went to ASOP and I got some stuff for my apartment. Um, I first thing I got is this hand balm. So I love hand lotion. I literally like having soft hands. My I just can't not have soft hands and I can't have dry hands. So hand lotion, always carrying it around with me. This one is the best hand lotion I have ever had. Not too thick. It doesn't make your hands have that lotion disgusting feeling after. You guys know what I'm talking about? Some lotions do that and I hate it. Literally don't know what scent it is. Oh, it says mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar. Sick. And then I have a big old bag right here. Literally like Santa's pouch. And I'm showing you guys what I got in here. So I have 
This is for my shower. This is just their body cleanser. This one's the geranium leaf one. And it smells just so fresh and so clean. I can't wait to shower with this in my shower. I got a hand wash and a hand lotion for my sink area. So I have a dish soap and I've been using the dish soap for my hands and I'm like, can't do that anymore. I feel like it just makes my hands dry so bad. So I got the resurrection. Oh, so that's the lotion I have. I think it's resurrection. Yeah, Resurrection. This one's the hand balm. So a hand lotion for next to my sink because after you wash your hands and you dry your hands with paper towel, put some lotion on and you've got some baby soft hands. I also have the same exact scent hand lotion. Look what we have here. This is the dish soap that I use. And then here's my hand. Another unboxing, you guys. Not this though. That's just all of my vitamins. But here. I ordered that from Staple and New. Cute basics shop, black long sleeve crop, with little buttons on the front, and then the sleeves have like a little slit on the side. So I got it in black. Since I got it in black, obviously I just needed it in white. And then I also got this really cute cropped black, oh my God. <laughs> this literally covers my boobs and that's all. And it's a long sleeve. Cute, I guess. Hopefully I wear this. It has like a little detail on the top. I am, we'll explain if you haven't seen that video. I chopped up some garlic. Oh, that big pepper piece. <laughs> Not pepper, onion. Onion, I know, I said <laughs> someone's gonna have a huge onion in there. <laughs> I literally got it everywhere when I was trying to just mix it in. Nice, Emma. You know what? That's it. Happy Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Hello. I'm continuing this vlog since I didn't do much yesterday. And <clears throat> since I didn't do much yesterday, why not continue it today and finish it today? So, I'm about to make my matcha. Little matcha stick. matcha whisk but for now I just use a little mini whisk I'm literally doing my makeup for no reason at all but I just wanted to talk to you guys about life and like updates and stuff. Um, what is up? How are you? I did like a little thing on my Instagram the other day that everyone's been doing where it's like you post a photo of. I did a little one where I talked about how I was super unhappy and how I kind of like overcame my unhappiness and stuff and a lot of people asked me to talk more about it so why not talk about it in a YouTube video and also it's Christmas Eve, it's a holiday time like this is a time of happiness and life is way too short to not be happy and not live it to your full like potential you know so I just wanted to talk about it quickly and kind of just like talk to you guys about what I learned and my happiness and stuff. Basically, the biggest issue was like, I don't know. I feel like I really overcame a lot within the past few months and what I learned during quarantine. I got to work on myself a lot. So back when the world like completely shut down and it was super crazy in March, I was just home all the time and I mean, everyone was. So we all really got to work on ourselves and I was sitting there one day and I was like, I am not happy at all. And why do I want to live my life like this? Like I just like wasn't getting better. I'd have good days and bad days like everyone, but, and I still have good days and bad days. It's not perfect, but 
I was just so sick of living this unhappy life where I was just so focused on what I was eating, what I looked like, like things like that. It's just very unhappy, un... Just the way of life that I was living, I was just... I don't know, I feel like I was lying to myself and I wasn't being honest with myself. I wasn't being honest with people around me and I was just kind of going through the motions of life and that's just not how I wanted to live. I was sick of it. So I made the decision to really focus on myself. I got into meditations. I got into journaling, manifestation. If you guys want to get into that, I recommend looking up videos on YouTube about it to learn more about it. I um, am not the one to really tell you guys what to do in that situation because I am, like I still do it, but I feel like I'm not like the best at it. But if you want to learn about it, definitely look up tutorials on YouTube of how to like do all that type of stuff. But I'm getting a FaceTime call. But basically, I just wanted to talk quickly about like my journey and my story. But I'll do that after I finish my makeup so I can focus. So basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about is... I wanted to be open about this and it's like still kind of hard for me to be open about this just because it was such a struggle growing up but I didn't even know like how to put it or how to say it but I had always growing up struggled with like disordered eating habits and I was so quiet and like closet about it when I was younger because I didn't know how to deal with these things and I was kind of scared and also it was like something that I could control so I didn't even want to talk about it. It like started in eighth grade basically and I feel like I didn't really 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 get better until this past year but it really started in eighth grade and I was literally an eighth grader and I would like my goal was to be just like skinny and I always had the mindset of being skinny not healthy. And so that was what I grew up knowing was that mindset. And no one in my family really knew that I was thinking like that or that that was going on. And then I didn't get really bad until my freshman year of high school. I was going through a lot at the time. So it was something that, again, I could control. And my freshman year was bad. I really struggled freshman year and then we got me help because my doctor was like you literally haven't had your period in so long you need help and I was like I I know I do but I, I also denied it at the same time but then I was like yeah like I'll get help whatever and I started to get help and things started to get better and sophomore and junior sophomore year was good end of sophomore year my parents got divorced so it went bad again because I was just going through so much and I feel like when I go through a lot and I'm struggling, I try to control certain, or like if I can't control certain things in my life, like if my parents getting divorced, my family falling apart, that I try to find something that I can control and it just leads back to my eating and it's kind of something that I can like dictate. So, end of my sophomore year, I kind of got back into the habit and I like would literally eat breakfast, I wouldn't eat all day at school and then I'd eat dinner. And it was just like really hard for me. I don't know. I just would get into that little loop of things. And then end of my senior year came around and I was like literally so, so, so skinny. I don't even know how much I weighed, but I was just so skinny and it like wasn't healthy. So then I moved to Boston right when school ended because I again still wasn't happy and I just wanted to do something that I thought would make me happy and I was planning on going to college and then I realized college was not it for me college was not the thing for me going there because my anxiety it was just a lot a lot a lot a lot so I became plant-based and I started eating a plant-based diet and I did that to try to heal me because I just didn't feel good. I felt crappy. And that helps me heal. I felt really good, but then it like fucked up my hormones and started to be like in the end not what I wanted a year later. So 
this comes to like quarantine covid when it hit it was like march and i was like i need to get better so i started listening to my body more and i gave up on the whole like i just want to be like skinny like look a certain way like i gave up on that i gave up on comparing myself to other people i would just had enough of it i literally had a breakthrough and i was like i need to stop doing this like this is not how i want to live my life for the rest of my life like i am over it i want to be happy and you can't love others if you don't love yourself so and like there were relationships that I wanted to open up to whatever whatever so I wanted to work on myself and I really wanted to love myself and that's what I worked on and I really focused on me and being happy and nourishing my body with things that it wanted like if it was craving something I'd let myself have it I just gained a relationship with myself and I started to become really happy with myself and I didn't see this difference until like July I started to be like wow like life feels good and then like September would roll around and like life felt great and then October and November and now it's December and I'm like holy shit if I didn't turn my life around in March I don't know where I would be right now because I just was so unhappy and I can finally say like I'm truly so 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 happy and it just makes me feel like a better person and I feel like for you guys you only ever saw me as the girl that tried to put a front on and tried to be someone she wasn't like i always tried to be happy but in, deep down inside like i wasn't genuinely happy so i feel like a lot of you might see it and be like oh she's changed or whatever but it i really just like wasn't happy but now i finally am and i just feel so much better and i'm so glad that i can like tell you guys and talk to you guys about this i don't really know how to talk about it in the right way i'm not really good with my words you guys might know that already but yeah i don't know i just wanted to let you guys know in on the secrets what really helped me a lot was journaling manifesting and things like that like i'd write down in my journal that i loved myself and that i like had a great relationship with food and all this stuff i wrote it down in my journal as if it was already happening and i swear it like made me think that it was already happening and it made life so much easier to live but if you're struggling with something i didn't get too into the story or into my story because i don't i don't know i don't want to share big like an overshare you know so if you guys are struggling with something somewhat similar a your parents are in a divorce and are getting through a divorce and you're just super unhappy and like i know it sucks but just try to find help. What I did was I did not find help. I didn't tell anybody I was struggling. I kept it to myself and that's the type of person I am. Whenever I'm going through something, I never tell anybody. I always keep it inside. And that's one of the issues that I have and I need to stop doing that, which I've learned now and now I'm like very vocal with my feelings. But just find help and tell someone you're struggling and tell someone you need help because they will help you, whether it's a friend, whether it's a family member, anything. Just tell them that you want and you need help and you will get the help that you need and they will help you out in the end and you will just feel so much better so you don't have to struggle i feel like life is easier to live when you're not struggling and you're not going through something on the inside alone because the worst feeling in the world is being alone trust me i know and i want you guys to know that you aren't alone there's more people out there that are struggling with the same thing as you you just need to be vocal about it and you need to voice your feelings because it's so bad to keep your feelings inside i'm the type of person to keep my feelings inside or at least i used to be but now that i voice my feelings and i whether it's like i'm feeling sad something's bothering me i'm anxious about something or even if i like someone i voice my feelings now and i swear in the end it turns out for the better so Take that with a grain of salt, whatever you need from this little conversation that we're having today. Um, I should talk more about it, but maybe we'll save that for a different video. But I love you guys so much, and I just wanted to touch on that and talk to you. I'm going to go get some food right now. I am so hungry. I ate breakfast super late, but I need to blow up my candles. Maggie is picking me up, and then I'm going to go get some food. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> Outfit, staple and hue long sleeve black lulu lines and my chicago air jordan mids i don't like my outfit for dinner tonight i'm literally wearing the shirt from princess polly 
and my Aritzia Molina leather pants, but I just feel like I don't have sneakers or shoes to wear with it. So it's like kind of killing my vibe, but it's totally fine, you know, it's okay. Anyway, I need to grab a jacket and leave. Maggie's been texting me like, are you ready? I've been trying to figure out what to wear and I don't know what to wear. So this is what I'm going with. And yeah, see you guys at dinner. So to end off Vlogmas, I'm going to be uploading this video on Christmas Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all so, 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 so much. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas this year. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. I feel like a different side came out of me. I mean, you guys noticed it. I noticed it too. This has been a crazy ass year and it's been crazy for all of us, but... I hope 2021 just serves us all so well and I'm so excited to see what 2021 brings for us. I have so much that I'm just so excited to show you guys this new year and things that my sister and I are coming out with and I'm just so happy. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I have such a nighttime voice. I'm so tired and I'll see you guys in my next video after Vlogmas. I wonder what it's going to be. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Bye, everyone. Mwah. You guys, Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Hi. Hello. Oh, my God. This is so weird. I literally woke up on Christmas morning, like, alone. <laughs> LOL. Anyway, um, LOL. So funny. But... Maggie and I are gonna go stop by our mom's house soon and I just want to say Merry Christmas you guys happy holidays if you don't celebrate celebrate Christmas and I love you guys so much this vlog is a little funky I'm kind of just doing the last three days like Christmas Eve Eve Christmas Eve and Christmas Day all together <laughs> Where did he Hi. Hi Merry Christmas Bye Oh, got me pink salt in a thing. Dry. I know, I know, I know. Start off. Okay, good. Towels. Oh, she's. Wait, she's are these mine? Bathroom. Oh, During Christmas. These are for Gram from Grammy. Yep. Is this mine too? Damn, Grammy. Yep. Damn, Grammy. And so it's great. heavy. Like, come with me to my Thank house. Thank God I lift a lot. Yeah. She's so cute. Oh, what is this? Oh my God, I need a new glasses. Oh, yeah. These are so cute. Look at these. We got a little glass that you can like, you know, make drinks in when you're old enough. And then a like tall a one too. Glass. Yeah, margarita glass. Love that. Thank you, Grammy. Creme brulee maker. She did not. <laughs> She's cute. Remember She's she got cute. you the fondue one? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, look. This is so heavy. Grammy, I wonder what it is. Oh wait, these are so cute. Grammy! New glassware! Ah! <laughs> Yay! You literally needed that. I know. A new dining room set. Wow, guys, wait, look. Like, Emma, those bowls are really good. If I didn't get like this type of stuff for Christmas, I like, don't want anything else, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like this is all I want now. It's good, yeah. Oh my god, mom. Hey, Moo Moo, no. It's so heavy. It's rum set. Look how cute these one. are. Maggie, which one do you want? I think I want this one. It's calling me. Really? That one was calling me. Oh, it's oh calling god, me. <laughs> I want this one. Okay. I'll take the other. Okay. You guys, I got myself one. You can choose the other one if you want. There's three. No, okay. I like I this one. When I got yours, I ordered one. Oh, good. Because I always get you guys stuff I like. Yeah. Oh, cute. Hi. Let me see yours. Oh, my God. I love. Good. I love them. Oh, cute. I love Cause them. Because you're going to use them so much more than you ever know. You're right? You're so you, and mine are so, you're so you. I knew it. <gasps> Wait. Mom! Food? <gasps> what is it? I know. I literally wanted something like this. I know you would. <laughs> Look what she got me. What is that? They don't make them in white oh. at Christmas. How cute is <laughs> You're gonna have to feed it 
<laughs> white. I just got it red. They don't. I asked her if they had it in white. She only said they came in red and green no, for Christmas. <laughs> so I got red. That is hilarious. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god, essential oils. Wait, Christmas so ones. Peppermint, cinnamon, what else? Look at the chimney. Lavender. Me and the lavender feel better. Oh, oh, this is it. Emma, do you have the wool dryer balls? No. Okay, I should have got them for you. When I, my wool dryer balls, I put the I essential. If you buy the wool ones, I'll get you some. They, you add your essential oil to your wool okay, dryer balls sure. and you put them in the dryer. Okay. I just got two new diffusers <gasps> too. What the heck is this? Uh, oh my god, are these teas? Yeah, and you and a pot. You can use the pot. Presents for Zeus. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. Look at that. We have a little sweatshirt. Yeah, see, that is the cutest cool. thing ever. A new bear, a new ducky, some shirts, do I just a little bone, it? and some diapers. Uh, Hello, my love. Hello, my love. Look at all of your face being all wet from the water you just drank so fast. My little boy. Oh, crazy, crazy.